Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. So today we are back in r slash are the straights okay. So to start off with we have heterophobia in a nutshell because that sounds like a real thing. So we have a very awkwardly drawn comic book strip. We have you do not fit in here. Okay we'll make our own place. Why are you excluding us? Oh no. No that's homophobia in a nutshell. Sweetie, that's, that's, um, you know, you don't fit in in a straight bar, get out of our straight bar. Okay, we're making a gay bar. Why can't we come into your gay bar and make it straight? Because you have 400 freaking straight bars in this city and we just want one gay bar where you can be gay without it being a bad thing. But okay, yeah, sure, you're being excluded because you can't make things straighter than they already are without people complaining about you forcing things to be straighter. Okay, sure. There's, there's oblivious and then there's like how how have you survived on planet earth how have you not accidentally died whilst trying to navigate a street you're so oblivious um next we have lol in red are the countries where it is illegal to be heterosexual must be hard heterosex hashtag heterosexual pride day um yeah it is that it's, it's that moment where um you get the straight people who are like uh, well, so well, in this day and age, it's we're being challenged for being straight. With this, it's you have to have pride to be straight, and it's like these are always the people who who say stuff like, "Let's go on a group holiday to Dubai," and then I have to awkwardly explain to them that I don't feel safe or comfortable going to countries where I can be incarcerated for being with my girlfriend, and where my girlfriend who is trans can be incarcerated or otherwise like executed for just existing whilst trans like we don't want to have to spend the entire holiday pretending to be sisters because it's awkward and not at all relaxing to have to spend an entire holiday pretending just to feel like you're not about to get arrested but okay obviously you have it hard because you don't have a parade to tell you that it's okay to exist because you don't need a parade to tell you that it's okay to exist because there's no history of you being criminalized for existing. Anyway, lol part two. Oh, lol part two. Here are all of the names of the victims of anti-straight hate. Know their names. Never forget. Hashtag homosexual pride day. Again, I feel like if this needs to be explained to you, it's like how many times has someone gotten beaten up for, for being straight? Because I I could not graduate school without two boys from my school getting attacked for holding hands. Literally, that's that's the, that's the difference. I mean, there were boys who did stupid stuff, like picked fights that they shouldn't have picked in. But like the only boy, the only people in an entire school who got violently attacked um, by a fully adult thirty-something-year-old man because they walked down the street holding hands were the two gay guys. Well, gay and a bisexual, but you know what I mean. But okay, yeah. Remember, <laughs> hashtag heterosexual pride day. Obviously, they need it so badly. Okay, next we have, well, they caught us. Confirmed. Gays are lacing Halloween candies with homosexual inducing drugs. Halloween, commonly known as the homosexual community in the homosexual community as gay Christmas. Yeah, it's gay Christmas because people who are not um, wanting to stick to a gender binary or or who are closeted trans people can go out and be themselves and everyone assumes it's just a costume like people can go out and be as gay or as trans or as whatever they want to be they can dress up as a literal fairy and everyone thinks it's just because it's halloween it's total safety to be out and proud but like discreetly that's why it's christmas but okay we're totally trying to turn you gay with the candy is it because is it because candy induces happiness? Is that why you're getting this like happy get no? I don't know. Okay, next we have holy fuck, they are not okay. They're not okay, people. We knew this, but you, but you know. Let's find out why. The Minecraft bee is trans. I love it. It's beautiful. I still don't get what the deal is with the bees. I wanna pet the bees, but they keep attacking me. Am I supposed to be trying to pet the bees or like I wanna have a beehive and make Minecraft honey, but they just keep attacking me? Is that supposed to happen? Does anyone know? Anonymous replies, because it attacks you over the slightest thing, then kills itself. Is that supposed to be funny? Because it's not. You know, it's that moment of... How do I put this? Um, it's that moment where, as someone who's dating a trans person, but who's not trans myself, it's that moment of, 
before this person was a part of a big part of my life where I'm like I get that it's bad to be misgendered but I don't think it's that bad because you know as someone who doesn't present fully cis myself who likes to dress very masculine uh Every once in a blue moon, you'd get some guy who'd just have to make jokes and or who would intentionally misgender me just to be a dick. But it um, wasn't that big a deal because I'm cis and because it didn't happen that often. Then you, ha- then you start dating someone who's trans and you start seeing how many times they have to keep their cool. Um, because someone just said something really transfer And it's, it's not even just like specifically directed to them because my girlfriend pretty much passes as a girl she pretty much passes for cisgendered um so obviously it's that moment where they were completely fine calling her a girl and treating like her a girl until they found out she wasn't born that way and suddenly they have to um, change their whole demeanor and pretend like it's just because uh this is like the truth is so important all that bullshit that right-wingers say you know like i'm just trying to stick to the truth no you were completely comfortable referring to her by her actual pronouns until you found out that she wasn't born with a regime and now you're actively and awkwardly going out of your way to change your pronouns even though it doesn't make sense because because it is awkward when you're looking at someone who's very feminine presenting and very female looking and then you just want to call him he because you're a dick basically and it's and you can see the cogs turning in their brain to be like how do I intentionally create a problem here, even though if it looks like a girl, talks like a girl, acts like a girl, it sh- should just be that easy to just call her she, but no. And then there's all of the situations, as I say, of um, every single time that some comedian makes a joke that's not funny, or like someone on TV just does that whole thing, especially like um, with lockdown and like the amount of Netflix we've been watching and the amount of old shows where I'm like, this is a classic, and even, even she, as a trans person, will pick out movies and TV shows and be like, oh yeah, this one's really good, this is a classic. Because the last time we saw it was like 10 years ago, back before she transitioned, and then we watch it, and we watch it, everything's going fine, and then some asshole who's like the main character who we're supposed to root for, who's the great protagonist and a great example for what we should all aspire to be, comes out with, oh, and then I was dating this girl and she turned out to be trans, Except he never says it that way. It's always some slur or it's, oh, and she turned out to be a man. Um, Ha, ha, ha. How embarrassed am I? How terrible would it be to date a trans chick? And then me and my transgender girlfriend are left sitting there like, well, this this movie is a little bit ruined for us now. And also, it really really shows your privilege when you say, oh, um, trans people attack people over the slightest, tiniest thing. And it's like... Do you know how many times we've been left awkwardly sitting there pretending to laugh at jokes that aren't funny and that are very transphobic because neither of us feel safe to speak up in the situation where we are clearly outnumbered by the straights who clearly don't understand how many times this comes up for trans people. You're getting slightly, you're getting attacked over the slightest thing. No, you're getting, you're getting away with a lot of really offensive, rude-ass shit because they didn't feel safe to speak up. It's going on for years and years and years and years and eventually you just push them too far and then they talk back and they speak up for themselves and you act like it's out of nowhere because you're used to getting away with so much crap. But okay. Also, how how is it funny to joke about how trans people kill themselves? Do you have no taste? Holy crap. Um, and next we have... The straights are not okay. Spoiler alert, they're not okay. Next we have, leave children alone. This kid won first prize in school fancy dress competition. Like, why? As I say, like, we've had a lot of criticism of the LGBT community from the straights. And this is, this is better, apparently. Apparently, we should, we should put our gay agenda aside and become, his title was I argued with my wife and it's a guy with a black eye. Like, I don't, I don't find domestic abuse funny. I'm concerned by people that do. And why are you pushing this on what appears to be a toddler? I mean, I know he's like six, but like, wow. This is this is not a good message to teach children. And continuing on this theme, obviously, the gays are bad. <laughs> because we like Halloween. And we tolerate way too much transphobic crap. And then appear to be getting angry out of nowhere. But obviously, the, get- the straights are so much better with... Teaching toddlers, raise your sons to become conquerors. This is disgusting. No, that's, that's, no, 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 no. No. 
and more healthy relationship from the straits. We have why can't they just get along? I'm going to finish this um, episode with this one. We have crying in the club says, boys, do you mean sex toys that are rude and don't even vibrate? No, thank you. To which some guy responds, whatever. Fleshlight that cries. I'm going to have to award the title of best comment to uh, the straight girl because her comment was you you have bad manners you're not representing yourself as a good person and also you are sexually outperformed by inanimate ob- objects on a regular and consistent basis um his comeback was you are a human with human emotions and also you are self lubricating think about it tears could be a lubricant too uh, i f- i feel like she won that one but like um <laughs> why is this the thing that we should aspire to why is this the norm why why this does not look like an enjoyable healthy relationship why was i taught from an early age to feel bad that i am not this why was i taught that this is what i should be aspiring and trying to be even if it's not natural for me to be i'm sorry society why is this okay why are this why do people think the straights are okay they're not okay anyway that unfortunately is where we're leaving this episode If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.